So, good afternoon. I'm new talking in English, so I'm going to do my best. Okay. Well, um, when I was little, my grandma used to read me a lot of books, a lot, before bedtime. That was really normal for me. One night, I discovered that my grandma was reading, but she was reading like this, upside down. She was an illiterate woman. I was only six years old then. So I asked, why grandma? Why you don't understand what you read? Why you don't read grandma? And she answered with a lot of shame in her eyes. She said, I'm sorry, I'm really sorry but I didn't have the opportunity to study, to read like you do. You know, the next day, I decided to become the teacher of my grandma. So we learned to write and read together. And that changed my life forever. Um, Seven years ago, I had the pleasure to meet these little children. He is Joel Ocaña. I remember him because, you know, in the low-income schools, uh, children don't talk, don't usually talk. But she was like jumping and talking. And I used to ask to the little children, what do you want to do when you grow up? And he answered, I want to be a doctor. I want to be an engineer. And if I have time, I want to be a soccer player. <laughs> he said that. I was really impressed. He was one of the five million children in Peru who don't understand what they read. So how is going to become a doctor? if he don't understand what he read. How? But imagine this. Not with nine years old. Imagine him with 40 years old. Imagine him talking with their children and answer that same, the same question that I did to my grandma. Why? So that changed my life again. You know? And I realized that I had to do something. And we did. We decided to transform these places. This is a, a library of a school in Peru. We decided to transform these spaces in this. Yeah. This is a library of recycled materials. And a lot of love of the people that believe in this could happen in a little small school, a, a really small school. So a lot of love of the people like Joel Ocaña, mother, mother. She is in the middle of this picture working. She understood that a library, it's more than a library. A library, it's the, a place of hope where people can receive knowledge. And she understood that a library is the place where their, their children is going to discover the entire world. So she inspired more parents and teachers. And everybody decided to do the same for their children. So, the entire educated community began to, to talk about it and start to demand the rights for the children and for their families. And in two years passed, and the school of Yoel Ocaña became the first place of reading comprehension in a district, you know? And the fourth place 
in reading comprehension of 3,000 schools, public schools in my country. So in that point, we said, can we do it more? Can we replicate the model? So we did. And, <laughs> and the story that began with a little boy now have impact more than 10,000 children in a national level in my country. And now it's a local policy. So our dream now is to reach 1 million readers because by 2021. Because when that happened, my country is, is, is will to become an, a free country, you know? Uh, where dreaming it's gonna be possible. Thank you very much. <laughs>